apron. You see Kyle Larson in the 42 taking the short way around the racetrack. That was what they needed for him. Around goes the nine. Chase Elliott hard into the wall. The back of the car's gone. Yeah. Day is over left for Alan right Gustafson. Thank you. Had a Chase Elliott go down. At the end of the career, hopes of the opportunity to race for the title for this team. Kelly. Yeah, and it sounds Chase saying that he thinks he lost a tire, didn't know if it was the left or right rear, but that's what led up to him crashing into the wall. Already loose. Yeah, he's got a left rear tire down. You can see the quarter panel sparking on the ground. We sometimes do see the left rear tires come out of these cars, and it can be for a number of reasons, whether it's contact with another car, traveling across that apron in the tri-oval, on new tires does a lot of is, is very stressful on the uh, on the on the on the tire itself where the sidewall and the tread meet. Green flag in the air. Will Denny Hamlin get a good restart? Rewind as they go into turn one for the lead. Denny Hamlin pulling out on the back stretch. He has the advantage over Kyle Busch. Get it to Ryan Blaney. Still up there fighting, but how about Denny Hamlin? Needed that great restart. Under pressure. Got it. Now one to go. One left to go, presented by Credit One Bank. But it's still three car links separating Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch through three and four the final time. Denny Hamlin has done it. He's won his way into the championship four. It's the first time a team has ever had three cars in the championship four. This victory fueled by Sunoco. Fuel your best.